Welcome back. So today I have another video, and this video is going to be on how to get blank app icon labels and how to change the text of your icon labels. Now, a few questions that I've been getting in the past is how did I remove my carrier logo? And I just want to let you know, because I'm recording with QuickTime, it removes it for me. I did not change that. If I find a way to change the text or remove it, I will let you guys know. So uh, this is how you change the icon labels. So you're going to want to download Files of Jailed. If you don't have that, go to the first link in the description. It's my video, and it tells you a whole bunch of stuff about it and how to install it. Go into that, and then just go all the way back to var, and then make sure you have it uh, sorted by name. Then you're going to want to go into var. Make sure you have it selected by name. Containers, bundle, application. And these are all of your applications that you have. So for just demonstrational purposes, I'm going to choose Amazon. Click on the dot app of it, Amazon.app. And then just scroll down to where you find your language. So I'm going to go down to English. There you go. So you can see en.lproj or L project. And then you want to click on info.plist.settings. And then you click on root directory. And there you go. So now as you can see at the top one it says CF bundle display name. That's what you're going to want to look for. You click on the I, click on name, like the value. You didn't change it to whatever you want. If you want blank icon labels, just delete everything and put a space. And then make sure you just click on save in the top right hand and in the top left hand click on done. And then just make sure you restart your phone. Press the power button and the volume down button on iPhone 7 and above. And when the screen goes black, let go of the volume down and keep holding the power button until the Apple logo comes up, and then just wait for your device to reboot. If you see the Apple logo flash on the screen, you're not in a boot loop. That's just the changes going into effect. And then for iPhone 6s and below, it's, you're just replacing the volume down button with the home button. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I also do want to give credits to the person who requested this. It is Guy Sadaka, S-D-A-K-A. Not really sure how to pronounce that. But uh, if you guys have any other requests or you know how to do any other tweaks, leave them in the comments below, and I will be sure to shout you out and make a video. Thank you guys so much for watching.